Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you find the video useful and helpful for your designing process. If you're new to the channel, uh, please think about hitting that subscribe if it's helpful. And uh, leave me a comment and uh, share the video if you think it's helpful. Uh, so today we're going to do a little something strange. <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, just kind of play around with our paneling tools a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to our polygon and we're just going to grab a star. I'll switch it to a yellow. Yellow. And we'll go to F4. Hold down shift so it's going straight up. And then I'll drag it in a little. Something like that. Uh, I'll grab a line and F4 again. And we'll just kind of draw a line going up somewhere around here. And then I'll go back and I'll grab an arc direction right here. Snap. Turn on snaps. And go from that corner right there to the top of my line there. And kind of give it a little arc. Something like that perhaps and now we'll need a surface so i'll go to surface i'll turn to green uh and we'll do a rail revolve uh right here so i will select my it says select profile uh, profile curve that's this one uh select my rail curve that'll be this one and then it says uh, start of uh rail revolve axis will be the bottom of my curve and the top of my curve and i have that surface now okay so i'll take a yellow and just turn it to gray and hide it okay right now we have a nerves uh, poly surface so we need to make a nerve surface so i'm going to just nuke this and now they're all in individual pieces right which means it's a poly surface uh, so what we're going to do is go over here to our edit tools and we will click on this first one merge and i'll merge these two surfaces i'll right click bring back that command select on that and that and just work my way around right clicking and clicking on the next surface uh to to make it all a nerve surface one surface right and there we go okay so one more time here and here right so now we have everything and if i try to nuke it it says it cannot cannot be nuked uh, it's a single surface so we have that it's a poly a nerve surface now so i'm going to hold down alt i'm going to click on my thing there and it says 0.5 that's what i want so i'm going to bump it up to 0.5 uh, and now what i'm going to do is go down to my options and get into my rhino options so o p t i o n s options and i have paneling tools installed you can go to food for rhino and download the painting tools and i'm going to select the select the paneling tools bo box so it'll give me all my paneling tools out here so i have all those now all right uh, so my first surface what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this first surface and i'm going to go to this first box here the cascade create a grid right and i'm going to click there and i'm going to go to this box here surface domain number and i'm going to click on that and right, i already have it set up so it's a 12. so i have one two three uh, lines going so now all those dots or my grid is aligned with my lines right uh, and i have two as the number of spans that i want uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click enter, uh, and then I'm going to click on that, uh, top surface there and right click, bring it back. And I'll just accept that because I want the grids to be exactly the same. I don't want any kind of alterations. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is go to a uh, solids and grab just a ball <laughs> and just, it doesn't matter the size. Uh, and actually let's change that to a yellow ball. Uh, be easier <clears throat> for us to get rid of the surfaces so now i'll go to the second tab here which is our uh, panel 2d uh, and drop down menu and then go all the way over to this one here where it says panel 3d custom and i'll click on that and i'll go to my first bounding grid which will be this dot here on my bottom surface and then i'll hit enter and then i'll select my second bounding grid which will be the dot right above it on the next surface and then hit enter now it's asking me to select the bounding surfaces which will be this one and this one and now it says select my object i want to put into my bounding area so i'll select on that and hit enter and enter one more time okay so now i'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn off green 
and I have this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, get rid of this, 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 and this, because we're just going to make a little flower. And actually, I don't need all those. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. I just want those two. And I'll take those two and drag them down. And really, probably just only need one. So I'm going to take that one. I'm going to spin it around this way, sort of, something like that. And come into my side and kind of level it off a little bit so it's more flat, right? Uh, something like that there. All right. And now I'm going to take this and just bump it over just a little bit. And then I will mirror it from F4. Hold down shift, and I have these two surfaces here, right? So now I'm just going to do a Boolean union. This will be my first surface, enter. This will be my second surface, enter. And my green's off, so let's get rid of it. Select that, hit enter. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of these grids. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Uh, real quick, uh, Boolean union this enter this enter and it deleted it i don't know why so let's back out of that maybe they're overlapping or something let's bump it out a little bit Hit okay let's bump this one out just a little too something like that oh there it is there's my surface i don't know what happened to it Let's hide this and let's get rid of this and let's bring that back out. There we go. Okay. And we have something like this, but this is kind of a mm, not a real pretty right in here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. So we'll just grab a line and we'll uh, turn that to yellow. And I'll just go from around here, hold down shift, something like that. Select everything, go to trim, and just cut that piece off. Hit enter, get rid of that line. And then go to click on my surface again and see a piece since it's planar, since I kept that line straight. And now it's a closed surface, right? Closed poly surface, which is good to go. All right, now what I'll do is I'll select that surface, go to transform, go to array, polar array from F4. Hit enter, and we have, uh, 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 let's see, yes, 360, and the eight objects, eight, uh, items eight, right? And we'll hit enter. So we have all this out here, right? So now we have a nice little flower design going on, right? And the only thing we need to do here is turn off our snaps, go to our solid, and uh, we want to... Uh, get another ball out there and we'll do that from f4 and just make our little ball something like that and then drag it up something like that right so now we have a nice little design going on and from here it's just uh boolean union we'll go ahead and add it to our library so uh we'll go to boolean union select this surface enter this surface enter enter and we'll right click this surface here enter the surface enter enter and right click this surface here you know the ones that are all joined together enter and enter enter and right click this surface here enter and this enter and wait for it did i not yeah i didn't okay so let's back out of that we got to wait for the command so that's not what we want delete that one let's get rid of this surface let's get rid of that surface let's get rid of this surface and let's get rid of that surface that's okay so we have all this so we'll go back to our bowling union keep on doing that enter 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 get rid of this surface uh, right click first surface second surface Enter, get rid of that, delete, right click, this is the first surface, this is the second, enter, enter, get rid of that, right click, this is our first surface, this is our second, enter, and 
one enter and we'll get rid of that one so we have this one and it's a closed poly surface the last thing we have to do is right click on here first surface enter second surface enter enter okay and we want to get rid of that ball now you don't want anything hidden or anything else so we're going to take that we're going to hide it we're going to turn everything make sure everything's turned back on because we need to get rid of all of that otherwise it's going to show up in our uh object on curve box so we got rid of everything and we have this and it's a closed poly surface so we'll kind of uh, get in here kind of maybe make it a little bit bigger we'll do a transform uh scale 3d from f4 and we'll just kind of make it so that it's you know the box there right uh and now from here we're going to select this surface we're going to go to our m save as find our documents go to uh lines in my let's see per oh, personal let's go down here documents find my matrix gold double click on it library object object on curve and we'll give it a name aaa enter okay so now when we go to draw a curve out there and our yellows oh we're on plastic so we'll turn that back on take that we'll go to our solids go to object on curve and as soon as it populates we'll click on our uh, library there and we'll go to the aaa import delete and we want to switch that origin to down and now those objects are in our library there you go and we can go to here so that's a real quick way to make a kind of a flat flower uh, and then also adding it into your uh, library so hopefully that'll help and it's uh, pretty cool you can make some cool stuff in there uh, and if the video helps you, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Good designing.